Hi there, welcome. In this video, we will study AWS ecosystem. And we will not just study the top 10 services, top 50 services, we will study every service there is. In this video, we will not go into a lot of detail, but we will cover every service there is. So at the end of this video, you should have a basic understanding of what AWS ecosystem consists of and what it's capable of. We will study category by category. So first we will start with one, then cover every service there is inside that category, then move to another category. If the service is an important one, like EC2 or Lambda, uh, I will give more detail. Otherwise we can go with j just a simple definition. Okay, let's start with network and content delivery. VPC is your network on the cloud. Create your network subnets and then you can put servers inside and you can connect your virtual networks to your uh, real networks. Then CloudFront is a CDN for serving static content, put a website in, in S3 and then serve over CloudFront from hundreds of edge locations. Uh, you can register domain names and ma manage DNS records from root 53 when you register a domain and open a new server. This is the binding part which translates domain name to IP uh, by using an A record. So private link provides private connectivity between VPCs, AWS service and your on-premise network. So what does this mean? Uh, so you have some service like uh, some APIs running on your EC2s or your RDS database and you want to share this with another AWS account or with your on-premise network but uh, you don't want to create a VPN connection because then it will share uh, everything and you don't want to go over internet because it's not safe. Private link allows you to expose your individual service without going to internet. Uh, App Mesh is a service mesh um, and a service mesh is an infrastructure layer that manages service communication in a transparent and language independent way. Uh, services in multiple programming languages requiring a common architectural pattern for communication can use a service mesh. Uh, it's like Istio and uh, by using a service mesh you are offloading responsibilities such as security, service discovery, role balancing, authentication monitoring to uh, from your application to the service mesh. Uh, basically if you have microservices uh, service mesh makes them talk by uh, REST, gRPC or WebSockets uh, without writing specific communication code. Uh, cloud Map is a cloud resource discovery service. Uh, you can define custom names for your application resources and it maintains an updated location of these dynamically changing resources. So basically, if you have lots of microservices on cloud and their endpoints can change with uh, with cloud map, you can find these source easily by API calls or DNS queries. So with direct on it, you are directly connected to AWS network without going to internet. You need to be in a, a direct connect location and work with a direct connect partner. Then uh, they give you a, something like a fiber, which is not going to internet. Which the, directly goes to AWS uh, networks, uh, which is faster, lower latency, and more secure, basically. Uh, AWS Global Accelerator is a networking service. When there is a problem with one of your users' uh, network um, connection, uh, Global C Accelerator optimizes that network connection and uses AWS uh, Global Network Infrastructure to uh, keep packet loss uh, and jitter and latency low. Uh, Transient Gateway connects v VPCs and on-premises networks through a central hub and simplifies your network architecture. Before Transient Gateways, it was hard to connect like multiple networks, multiple VPCs and uh, on-prem sites. So you, if you have like five VPCs yeah, and you have to, uh, you need to connect each one. Uh, with others, each VPC site makes four connections and it makes a 20 connection in total, which is pretty hard to do. With transient gateways, it's just five connections. 
client VPN is a managed client-based VPN service that enables you to securely access your AWS resources. Uh, it's based on OpenVPN and uh, suppose you have developers working from home and the, uh, you need them to access AWS resources like for example the RDS database. So you can set up a client VPN so they can uh, do their jobs. It's basically an SSL VPN. Uh, load balancing automatically distributes your incoming traffic across multiple targets uh, such as EC2s. There are different kinds of uh, load balancers in AWS like application load balancer, network load balancer, gateway load balancer and they operate on different host layers. Uh, for example application load balancer supports HTTP2 and gRPC and of course all of them are highly available and high throughput. And lastly, site-to-site -site VPN is an IPsec uh, VPN. So you have some servers and development machines on your office and you are working with AWS. And uh, you can use a client VPN, but then you have to install uh, cl clients for each development machine and also servers. What you can do is you can create a, a site-to-site -site VPN between your firewall or router to the AWS then uh, with correct routes all of your servers all of your development machines can connect to your AWS resource easily okay we completed networking and content delivery let's continue complete on the next video